So we are talking now during this unit about Dreamweaver and Dreamweaver's exchange and behaviors options. And so when you're in Dreamweaver, when you first come in, you'll see this option down here for Dreamweaver Exchange, unless you've selected Don't Show Again. If I click Dreamweaver Exchange, it brings me to a site where I can see all kinds of different add-ons that I some are free, some I pay for through Adobe. You have to have an account to actually download these, but you set up account for free. Um, but I prefer actually was once I start a new page, or let's say I'm working on something else, I have an option up here for I can see my extension manager, which will show any extensions that I've downloaded and installed. I can also, and it's getting ready to open mine, so I have two right now for Dreamweaver. I also have um, the option over here to browse web widgets and Dreamweaver extensions. So let's first look at web widgets. Web widgets is actually fairly new, or it's new to me at least. I've not spent much time on this. Um, but it seems to be a great feature um, and so if you look these are different widgets that you can download and I assume they work just like extensions I'm not sure what makes them different and so you'll see a bunch of these and some of them you'll see buy and so I tend to <laughs> um, steer clear of the things I have to pay for but um, but you might find something that's worth and I believe a lot of these you'll find that um, they'll let you test them out so you know this one I've seen a lot on the web um, it's a, I can pull it up and view the sample and it's basically a, a photo thing where it'll pull up like this and then I can see it and go to the next one so it's a nice photo option if you're using something like that and so be sure to spend some time looking at the widgets um, <clears throat> you can I believe even the ones that you pay for you could probably um, spend some time trying it out my guess is they'd give you a period where you could try it out I also look for what are the ratings so I you know is it something I even want to mess with so while that's new I have spent in the past a lot of time going through the um, the Dreamweaver extensions and so when you come to here you can look through extensions and so you can look through the staff picks most recent but over here on the right you can actually drill down into a category and so if I want to just select all I can see that there's a fifth, over 1,500 of these, so there's a ton. And I tend to filter by things that I'm interested in, like freeware. Um, and I would spend some time with shareware, open source, and freeware. Are, um, and even, I probably commercial and some of these others I stay away from. But even to just uh, spend time and getting to know them, you might find something that's worth paying for. But the one I want to point out is learning over here on the right. And so if I click on learning, and I'm going to filter down to freeware. The two that I that we bring up this in this unit that you should check out or consider checking out are if I scroll down and if I go to this next page is where is it? Course Builder for Dreamweaver 8. So even if you're on CS4, this should work. Um, it's worked for me, and you can see pretty good um, reaction from people. So if you keep going, the other one I would do is this e-learning question pack. And so both are free, um, and I believe both are cross-platform. I don't know for sure if Course Builder is. Let me check real quick. Um, went the wrong way. It is. So both are, um, and so when you download them and you have to set up an account, it's going to show up in your exchange, uh, extension manager. And then when I'm in Dreamweaver, I can actually go down under insert and I can see course builder and they always put them in different places and under commands I can see my e-learning questions so those are two free extensions that I like to um, play with you can sometimes also see things coming up under the behavior window and so if you go down to behaviors you can sometimes see things here and you can get more behaviors doing the same type of thing at the exchange so um, I hope this helps kind of explain how you can Explore Dreamweaver extensions. I recommend spending some time and checking them out. Thanks.